ஹலோ வேர்ல்ட் குட் மார்னிங் குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் குட் ஈவினிங் வெல்கம் பேக் டு கோடிங் சயின்டிஸ்ட் டாட் காம் வி ஆர் ஆன் லெசன் நம்பர் த்ரீ ஆஃப் அவர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் சீரீஸ் ஆன் ராஸ்பெரி பைக்கோ மைக்ரோ கண்ட்ரோலர் அண்ட் வி ஆர் லேர்னிங் மைக்ரோ பைத்தான் ஃபார் பில்டிங் ஐஓடி அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் அ ஸ்மால் டைம் ரோபோட்டிக்ஸ் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் ப்ராஜெக்ட்ஸ் ஐ வுட் சே எனிவேஸ் so uh, in this particular lesson guys i am i will walk you through the installation steps of micro python firmware okay so firmware is basically used to put it inside your pico to boot it up that's for the first time this is for the first time as soon as you buy your pico board how you are going to boot it up follow the previous three lessons make sure your id is set up your thani id is set up and configured now in this lesson i'll show you how to connect the pico to your computer to your windows desktop and that will be connected to your thani ide all right guys so let's do one thing so there is something called boot cell okay so this is how it is it looks pretty small button on your uh, on your uh, pico so if you see take a look at it carefully i'll just bring it near the camera so this is the button this is a white color button it's called boot cell okay so if you see the image right above me that's the arrow mark which is pointing towards the boot cell button so the way we are going to do is before plugging the usb okay before plugging the usb to your computer you need to press this hard hard means not too hard just a click away you need to just keep it pressed keep it pressed do not leave it and then put this put this usb to your computer this has to be kept pressed okay make a note of it guys this has to be kept pressed always kept pressed while you insert the usb to your computer okay it's not that you just press it once and leave uh, insert the usb it's not going to work you got to keep it pressed and leave it and then you will see a pop up window on your desktop so let me show you how it should look like so let me just switch over to my uh, desktop one i hope you guys can see my uh, desktop screen uh, all right so let me just insert the usb as i said you got to hold this and then you have to insert into your usb okay so let me just try i am going to put it in my usb on my windows machine and i can hear a noise all right guys can you see this window opening up as soon as i boot now you can now you can release the button now you can release the button i released it this window is open so what it does is basically your pico when you when you follow this particular step this device this pico device your microcontroller accepts as a usb uh, drive like a, like any kind of, any kind of uh, memory drive right that's how the system recognizes so once you see this just leave it open as it is don't do anything you need to just minimize it okay just minimize the window now you open your thani ide so where is my thani ide it's not on my uh, desktop where it did it go it's vanishing let me just search i can see only the exe it got uninstalled for some reason but any which way so i will install it again i'll just double click anyways it's a good way i can show you guys i'll click next i'll click next again i'll click next create a desktop icon next next it just takes few seconds this is kind of weird i did install and i did test it i showed you in the previous lesson it's now vanishing from my desktop and it's not there it's kind of surprising anyways it sometimes happens weird all right it's almost about to complete
Thani IDE. Okay, it's almost done and I can see the icon. You need to finish till the dialog box shows it's done. It's still saying compiling standard library, which takes a while. It's mentioned here any which ways. There you go. So once you see the success, finish, click the finish button. And now double click on Thani IDE. Let me open this. Make sure that uh, your Pico is connected guys. All right, so I can see the previous code which we wrote, the test code. I'll just delete this. Now what we need to do, if you see on the right hand corner, corner at the bottom, you can see Python version, Python 3.7.9. That's what is installed on my machine. So you can just click on this and you can see you know same interpreter which uses thani as default and then there is a there is something called micro python raspberry pi pico all right so your device has been detected this is confirmed that your device your microcontroller has been detected as a usb device now you need to click on this okay click on this and then install the firmware here you can can you see on the window it's written here you can install or update micropython firmware on raspberry pi pico plug in your pi coil holding the boot cell button wait until the device information appears click install now i am going to click install and it's installing here at the bottom can you see this guys all right done it says it is done okay now i can close it I will close this there you go that's pretty good if you see at the bottom terminal of the IDE let me just make it a little bigger on the terminal at the bottom go to the bottom terminal you can see micro python 1.15 and uh, raspberry pi pico with rp2040 chip all right guys this is perfectly installed so there is no issue at all it's been installed now let's look at the interpreter micropython so if you see at the bottom again bottom of the window it should show micropython raspberry pi pico okay now let me click this now let me uh, go to the interpreter no it's so that is the default interpreter but we are going to do the coding on the microcontroller itself from this lesson from the future lesson onwards from all the lessons for all the lessons we will be directly running the code into the microcontroller into the pico microcontroller so let it be as it is let this be check mark micro python raspberry pi pico in case in future without connecting to the microcontroller you want to test your python code so then what you need to do again go back at the bottom here click and you select same interpreter which runs thani as default so you can select that and the system it the, the program the python program is going to run on your machine now let's test if our code is going to work guys so i am going to be back soon in the next lesson and i will show you how to write your first code in your pico microcontroller until then goodbye